All right, guys, uh, we're back. We're gonna do the outer perimeter for our chicken coop. So uh, we'll get the fence post set today, let them cure for a couple days, the, the concrete, uh, just to get some more stability. We're gonna put one bag of concrete in and then just pack it back with rocks and uh, dirt. Um, yeah, so that's our game plan. And then after the, we'll let it cure for a couple days, then we'll come back, put the fence on and, and uh, hook up the electrical system on it.
<laughs> so this is day two. We got um, all the posts put in except for the, the, the back side. So we got uh, three more posts to put in today and then we can start on the fence. Uh, we put, here, let me show you. <laughs> as soon as we got the chickens, my son bought me the green swing, but um, scared of it. Yeah, they're a little scared of it. So I, I just put the little tiny perch that we've had uh, in there in that when they were little chicks, and they've been on it for for a while. So uh, hopefully, we're gonna just build them up to get onto that one because they have already started using this one. So I got that one set a little higher. So. Uh, maybe the more courageous ones will, will try the uh, the uh, store bought swing out, but it's these chickens are hilarious. We may do a Woodstock Wednesday on first time chicken owners because we've we've learned a lot in the last six weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've had some funny stuff happen. And Abby's Abby's here helping us out. This is our neighbor Craig and Millie's dog, and she's enthralled with the chickens. She chicken. loves the chickens. She just. She just stays out here all day long and, and watches, watches the them. chickens. <laughs> we have to get on to her sometimes because she wants to chase them a little bit. But She's doing a good job, though. But other than that, yeah, she's doing good. All right, let's get this last two posts in the ground and then we can start on the fence. So we had a lot of questions about the wind. And uh, so here was my original idea of what we were going to do was uh, we were going to put flag bolts up top drill a hole so you could take them off and put them on real easy and then that's uh, like a little wind block for them so they don't get blasted by <laughs> by the strong by the strong winds we get here yeah. so we'll probably paint these make them a little more um eye appealing but uh this is it's worked out pretty good yeah it definitely like the last two days in the evening the winds have really picked up so we just put it on there and and uh, it's really a wind block. I mean, you can't even once you step inside the run, you can't even you can't even feel the wind. Yeah. When you're outside, your hair is just blowing. <laughs> well, my beard's blowing. I don't have much hair on top, but but it's worked really good. Yeah. All right. So the uh, posts have been uh, up for two days. So we're gonna start putting the fence section on now. I'm out here hanging out with my little chickadees. Had a couple swingers. Uh, had a couple swingers yesterday. Uh, it's really windy today, uh, it, so this this um, wind block really works because once we step outside, uh, I'm getting my door shut here. Uh, here we go. So I I don't know exactly what the winds are. Probably 15, 20 knots today. Um, so I'm sure you're picking up a lot of wind. Uh, so we're just going to listen to some music while we do some work. All right, so because we had a, a slope, we wanted to keep the fence straight so we could keep it uh, tight still. So we're gonna have a little gap here. We're gonna fill that gap with um, hardware cloth and uh, and then stick a board on the bottom of it to um, have something to screw it down to.
All right, so this was our idea for the bottom was uh, instead of using that welded wire all the way across to use the hard wire cloth on the bottom where we had the gap. Uh, this isn't to keep, um, this is to keep uh, really predators out. Uh, this is more to just keep the chickens in. Um, the, the coop itself and the little run there, that's where the chickens are their safest. We'll let them out run around in here when we're outside working in the garden or just outside hanging out. Uh, and then on top of this, we're gonna have the electric fence and that's really what's gonna keep the bears out. The coop and the run keeps the mink and the marten and the otters out. The electric fence is what's keeping the bears out. So uh, this is kind of our ideal of what we wanted to do. So that's, that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, I guess next week we'll start start on the electric fence anyways if you like the video give it a big thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button down below uh, we'd love to have you hang out with us and we'll see you next week